Assalamu alaikum. You're about to witness the amazing mathematics of just one letter in the Quran. The code and recent discoveries regarding the letter Sa'd are truly breathtaking. <laughs> To start decoding the mathematical code of the letter Sa'd, we go to the start of the Qur'an. We go to chapter 1, which in our previous video, we saw some of its amazing mathematics. From the very start of the Qur'an, the first appearance of the letter Sa'd is in chapter 1, and counting from the start of the Qur'an, it is the 88th letter. From that first appearance, the code for this letter becomes strongly connected to the number 88. Remembering that there is an entire chapter in the Qur'an which is literally titled Letter Sa'd, we are amazed to find that this chapter, Sa'd, i.e. chapter 38, has a total of 88 verses. Imagine that, chapter Sa'd has 88 verses, and the first appearance of Sa'd in the Qur'an is as the letter 88. Clearly, we are on the right path. Since we are looking at chapter titles, we realize that the greatest repetition of this letter in any title of the Qur'an's chapters is two times, and it was in chapter Al-Qasas. Amazingly, chapter Al-Qasas also has 88 verses. The connection seems clear. Digging even deeper, we realize that the first eight verses in the Qur'an that are verse number 88 in their chapters contain no mention of the letter Sa'd, while the first eight verses in the Qur'an that do contain the letter Sa'd have a verse number sum total of 88. And the first verse in the Qur'an to contain the letter Sa'd eight times is the only verse in the entire Qur'an which contains 88 words. This is truly remarkable, but only the tip of the iceberg. This verse in the Qur'an, which is the only verse with 88 words, came in chapter An-Nisa, i.e. chapter 4, verse number 12. And the surprise here is that the number of verses in chapter An-Nisa is 176, which is 88 plus 88. It gets even more shocking when we check verse number 88, and it has a total of 88 letters. Even more perplexing is that 88 equals 4 times 22. And the chapter number is 4, but what about this 22? 22 is the total number of words in this verse. It's really tempting to stop here and just marvel at this. But we have to move on. Before leaving chapter 4, we notice something else. In the entire chapter, there are only two verses which contain exactly 44 letters, and they are verse 45 and verse 169. When we add their letters, they give us 88. But how can we make sure they are truly connected to 88 and the letter Sa'd? This is supported when we notice that the total sum for the number of these two verses is 214, which equals 88 plus 88 plus 38, and 38 is the number of chapter Sa'd, with its title being the letter Sa'd itself, and total verses 88. In chapter 4, we said that it was verse 12 that had 88 words, so can we see the number 12 manifest elsewhere in this code? We realize that the verse 88 in chapter Al-Ma'idah and verse 88 in chapter Taha both have 12 words each. This connection makes us look at them even closer, and we realize that the total number of letters in these two verses is 100, which is 88 plus 12. This is truly an astonishing code, but we are still just warming up. Everything is revolving around the number 88, so surely we must look at chapter 88, i.e. chapter Al-Ghashiyah. The first appearance of Sa'd, the 88th letter in the Qur'an, in chapter 88, came in the third verse. 
Because this is a unique sod, i.e. the letter revolves around the number 88, and this is its first appearance in chapter 88, we look much deeper. This sod is the 2024th sod from the start of the Quran. Amazingly, it is a multiple of 88, as 88 times 23 equals 2024. You have seen already that Sa'd is the 88th letter from the start of the Qur'an, and 88 is also the number of this chapter. And generally, the letter had revolved concretely around the number 88, but what about this 23? If you have seen my previous videos, you will be correct in saying that 23 is the number of years in which the Qur'an was revealed, and is also a main key in Qur'an mathematics. But, is there more to it here? Actually, 23 is also equal to the letter Sa'd. How so? The name of the letter Sa'd in Arabic is the word Sa'd. And these are its letters and their order in the common Hija'i alphabetic order. Amazingly, their total is 23. Look at all of this. It's truly shocking, but it simply does not end. Looking even closer at those first three verses in chapter 88, we notice that the letter Sa'd first appeared in chapter 88 after 38 letters. Yes, 38, if you remember, is the number of chapter Sa'd, the chapter titled simply the letter Sa'd, and as already stated, chapter Sa'd has a total of 88 verses. The stunning mathematical code is truly amazing. Looking even closer at chapter 88, we notice it starts with the letter H, like the English H. The letter H, or H, is the 26th letter in the common Hija'i alphabetic order. And the surprise is that this chapter, 88, has a total of 26 verses. So chapter 88 has 26 verses, and both numbers have been seen to clearly be highlighted. Amazingly, 88 plus 26 equals 114, which is the total number of chapters in the Qur'an. This is far more than enough to think about for a very long time, and simply say, praise be to Allah, subhanAllah, who had provided a Qur'an with never-ending miracles that people living in the age of computers and programming are now challenged by its evident mathematical code. But let's keep going. In the entire chapter 88, the letter Sa'd appeared only in these five verses, once in each verse. The total number of words in all the verses of chapter 88 that contain the letter Sa'd is 14 words. So what is 14? You may have already guessed it. The letter Sa'd is the 14th letter in the common Hija'i alphabetic order. To further confirm the connection of the five verses with the letter Sa'd, other than they are the only verses in the chapter with the letter Sa'd, and other than their total words being 14, we look at the letters that spell the name of the letter Sa'd once again. These letters that spell the name of the letter Sa'd appeared in all five of these verses a total of exactly 14 times. This is truly amazing, but we must keep going. Keeping in mind that Sa'd is the 14th letter in the common Hija'i alphabetic order, think about this amazing discovery. The first 14 verses in the Qur'an have a total of exactly 88 letters. And, if all of this is not mind-boggling enough, think about the following. The 88th letter from the start of the Qur'an is the letter Sa'd. Chapter Sa'd has 88 verses, and chapter Al-Qasas also has 88 verses. But, chapter Al-Qasas is also the chapter title with the greatest number of letter Sa'd in its name, which is two times. When we count all the words, in chapter Al-Qasas, they are exactly 1,438. Can you see it? 
Yes, the first half of the number is 14 and the second half is 38. Chapter Saad is chapter 38 and its title is simply the letter Saad, which is the 14th letter of the common Hijai alphabetic order. To say there is much more is an understatement, but as a bonus, I'll add just one more point. In the entire Quran, there are only 25 verses that are the number 88 in their chapter. And in chapter 88, verse 25 ends with the word number 88, counting from the start of the chapter. Please allow me to repeat this. In the entire Quran, there are only 25 verses that are number 88. And in chapter 88, verse 25 ends with the word number 88, counting from the start of the chapter. This is yet another astonishing highlight of this miraculous code. Take a step back, relax, and watch this video again, stopping at each revelation. Words simply cannot describe how amazing this is. The code for the letter Saad is truly a breathtaking mathematical symphony. Nothing can be more appropriate than to end with verse 88 in chapter Al-Isra. Say, if all the humans and jinn join together to produce anything like this Qur'an, they will not be able to come up with anything like it, even if they assist one another. Let me know in the comments what you think and if there are specific topics you want me to cover. If you wish to support this work, check out the links below in the description for some of my works. And as always, and it truly helps a lot, if you like this video, do subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.